Hello friends, my name is Pranay Pandey and in this OIBIS video tutorial we will be doing an overview of setting up XML data in OIBIS. So for setting up data in OIBIS as you have already seen that in my last video I have shown you how can you create uh, tables or how can you refer existing entities which are there which are basically the database tables in OIBIS. In this video let's go and see like how can you set up your own data in XML files so in any of the components if you download OIBase as is if you go to application directory or any of the component you under the data directory you will find all the data that has been created one important thing that I want to cover in this video is related to the readers that means how can you categorize your data the XML data that you create in OIBase so the major categorization of data is done under these categories that is seed, seed initial, ext demo, ext demo, ext test and then definitely top of that you have got the utility to create custom readers in OIBIS that means to categorize your data based on the requirement that you have got. So first of all what is a seed data in OIBIS? So this data is the one that is required for the core functioning of the system that means all the all the seed data that can be considered as for example party type data or role type data or contact me type such type entities are there in OIBIS so whenever you create data for such, such type of uh, tables or entities you should be considering that data as seed or I would say you should tag that particular data file as seed data and then it should also be maintained along with the code because there will be ongoing upgrades to the seed data and uh, it should be maintained along with the code. In the similar fashion you have got seed initial that means the data that is required to be loaded at the first time when you set up the system. For example user login and job sandbox. User login why it is being considered, considered as seed initial because you set up certain user logins in XML and then you upload it to the server and once if accidentally it's loaded again there is a fair chance that you will be overwriting the existing user login credential that, uh, credentials that you have just created so better to have this data as seed initial in the similar fashion job sandbox entity is used to set up scheduled services scheduled jobs basically so in that case you should be making sure that it's not being overwritten you have got ext data that is uh, the data which is specific to the business and required in production and initially it's managed with the code and uh, as uh, it, it grows basically as application is used in production when it's deployed to production demo data the data that comes with out of the box OIBIS implementation ext demo ext data uh, test readers uh, or the data that is uh, required for custom application testing or demo or simulation of the extensions that you have made to OIBIS and then you have got the feature with OIBIS where you can create custom readers based on the requirement that you have got or any specific data that you create for example you can have some data that is specifically created for staging environment or test environment or production environment so you can have your own readers something like ext stay or ext road or ext prod config because most of in most of the cases you will need to differentiate the configuration data in staging and production environment for example the payment processors configuration that is different in staging environment and in production environment so you can tag that data with a specific reader that will help you to bifurcate all the data and to use the appropriate one in the given environment so in any of the data directory you can uh, find the data which is there in any of the component let's go back and see like how can you create your own so I have set up my plugin as my OIBIS demo my custom component here and under the data directory I have set up two data files that is my OIBIS demo type data so this is the entity that we have already set up uh, you can see you can refer my last video so I'm creating the type data for this particular entity where I'm having type uh, ID as 
int_demo, ext_demo with descriptions as internal demo and external demo. In the similar fashion, I have uh, set up OIBIS demo data, my OIBIS demo data XML file where I have set up some sample parties here, party and the person data. These are the tables which are there in the default data model that has been supplied by OIBIS. And then this is my custom entity where I'm creating data referring these parties that I have created as presenter of these uh, demos and the other required data that I needed to put. So all the field headers are there and then the values that I want to put uh, there. So all the table headers are there and the values that I want to put there for a specific record for OIBIS demo and date. So here the important thing that you should understand is like the entity resource entry in OIBIS component XML file. So you can see that my type data has been tagged as re with a reader named seed that means I want to call it the seed data that means I want to club this seed data along with the seed data which is there uh, in OIBIS and then I have created my demo data as the demo data because uh, I am not doing anything specific or uh, it, it's not in specific extension to OIBIS so I haven't tagged it as uh, ext or anything else so as of now I'm clubbing it up with demo data so whenever OIBIS demo data is going to be loaded this uh, this uh, custom data that I have created is also going to be loaded along with that and this is a just this is just uh, a sample like if you at some point of time if you create some data that has to be tagged specifically with a reader which is not there so in that case you can uh, simply put a name here in the readers name and when you run the command the, the, the command that you use to load the data with the readers you can find the commands in readme x uh, readme.md file here uh, you have got the command to load some ext uh, load ext data or test data so basically the command has to be followed like this so you have to provide the name of the readers right like for example you only want to load seed data so you want you will be mentioning seed as reader if you want to load some more data types in that case you can add the readers name like this so if you suppose you have created a custom reader in that case you simply have to provide the name of that reader and you have to run this command and it will simply read that data that has been tagged as ext stage and it will load into the database so this is how you uh, run the command and you load the data or else if you haven't made an entry in your OIBIS component XML file like this you can simply copy your XML data from the file that you have created and you can go to the web tools here admin OIBIS is the username and password and you have to use entity XML tools where you have to go to entity XML data import and here you have to simply paste it and then you can import your text in the database again you can go to entity data maintenance here you can locate your table here you can open it you can find the records that has just been imported into the database so this is how you can import the data through the gradle command by using the specific readers or by simply going to web tools and loading it from the XML uh, import tools, entity XML import tools. So this is how you actually work with the custom data. The important thing that you should always be making sure that you are categorizing your data with the appropriate reader based on the context or uh, the environment for which you are setting up a specific data. So always be conscious while declaring your data in OIBIS component XML file because uh, when you want to keep it very clean and simple to understand uh, the development environment, the test environment and the production environment. So in that case, you'll need to bifurcate your data or categorize your data with a uh, with proper reader setup that you have got. So to get more details around the readers, like what are the readers which are already there and defined in OIBIS, you can go to the uh, entity engine file here. And here you'll find okay these many entity data readers are there and uh, the purpose and descriptions are also given there 
so this is how you can do it and along with that as i mentioned you, if you have got the requirement to set up a new reader so you do not need to add it here you simply need to and make an entry in your oibis component xml file and uh, you have to simply put the name of that reader here like this and you will be done other, uh, other than that you simply need to go ahead and you have to run the command uh, for the lo for loading the specific readers data and you will be done so uh, that's all for this video in the next video we'll see how can you work uh, through the themes or you can set up your preferences for the theme for the backend in oibase until then i hope you guys have a great day and uh, thanks for watching